Hey, Beck. Oh my goodness. Just a little too small. A little too small to take the whole hook. There are some gigantic bluegill out here. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, me and old G-Dog are going after some largemouth and some bluegill. We're doing a little test today on the John boat to bass boat to see how it works. And so far, I'm happy with it. There's one. Are you freaking kidding me? That was a good first fish on camera. It's all right, G-Dog, you'll get one. Not a bad little ditch pickle, first one in the boat. Woohoo! Oh, sorry. Woohoo! Is that too aggressive? I'm happy because that's my first ditch pickle. What are you doing? It's called a Sanko. It's a five inch worm. Would you like one? Okay, that's red. This is green. Run one of these. Okay. I love this. I love both of them, honestly. Watch this. You go down about a half an inch, come out the side, run it up to the top, just like so. Then you gotta find where that hook goes in, pinch, do this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cast it out there, also pinch this forward and bury the front of that just a little bit. When you cast it out there, you're just gonna let it sit, just chill. Get it close to the bank if you can, and then you're gonna see your line go, dink. And when you see that, I want you to grab this rod and I want you to set that hook so hard. What do you do? You just let it drop? Watch this. Throw it out there, let it sit. Reel in about six inches. Now watch me, lift up just a little bit. Reel just a little, let it sit, chill. And you'll see that line go dink. And when you see that line go dink, that means you got one. And what we're doing is we're trying to fish through weeds and stuff because it's pretty much weedless. Another fun thing about the boat is the higher you are, the easier it is to see stuff. There's one running right there. I doubt he's gonna take it, but also you'll notice your line starts to get tight if it doesn't hit. So just work it nice and slow. I'll coach you as we're going. But it's a weird bait. You just let it sit yeah. underneath that tree if you can. There you go, nice. Now just let it sit. Here's one, ready? I love bass fishing because it's so easy. Another bass. Put you a bobber on and we can take some bluegills home. Dude, they are everywhere in there and they're monsters. Look at these swamp donkeys. Can you see these? You wanna see if there's any fish in here? I don't know if my fish finder will work or not. I've never used it. Oh, never mind. It is deep. It's over 10 foot right here. There's so many bluegill in here, and there's swamp donkeys. Dude, I'm bluegill fishing. There's one. Hammer that thing. First one. Oh, I already got one. Oh my gosh. Right there is just getting hammered. There we go. Fish number two. G-Dog's hooked up. Bluegill City. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna throw them all back. Oh my God, Garrett, that's a humongous bass. That's like a five pound bass, dude. Gone now. Holy smokers. Okay, I've established that that is a little too strong. Hey, we're out of the weeds now. Look at that carp. Oh my gosh. Right off the weed edge there. Yeah. Probably like 15, 20 pounds. Probably didn't even know there were carp in here that big. There's another one right there, right there. 
literally exactly where I'd plopped it. Oh my. Not ripped the pole out of my hand. 64.3 degree water temp today. Spawning is 65, so these fish are 100% in spawning mode. They're on beds and perfect time to be fishing. If I don't catch a fish in here, I'd be thoroughly shocked. him in here another largey what is it feel like a gill or a bass oh g dog hooked up with something get him in here oh that's a nice gill there's your eater gill solid fish man so we've been cruising around now for a little bit. Things I've noted. One, it doesn't sit as low in the front as I had expected. There's a lot of extra weight in the front, but maybe that foam's really doing a lot of work. Um, another thing is that, careful, cast, you're good. Another thing is that your foot pedal trolling motor is something you're gonna have to get used to. It's much more difficult to control that than I was expecting. And, just using that it kind of cramps up your one leg if you've never done it before I might want to try to install like some sort of seat that you can lean back against while I'm cruising around the lake picked a real calm day to give it a test and so far I'm really happy with the boat I think it's been awesome well G dog has been slaying the bluegills today and I've been going after a lot of these largemouth this lake is pretty weeded up this was an old quarry right yeah. old quarry so apparently there's old train cars or a car or tractor down at the bottom of it. It's really, really deep. Um, my fish finder won't even go that deep. It's set at like 15 right now. And I really haven't messed with it yet, but I just have a Humminbird 5 Helix. That's a pretty cool, but catching a lot of bluegills, a lot of bass, and just cruising around and letting the night settle in. But John boat's working really good. It's kind of a mess right now. It gets really messy really quick. Got all kinds of worms and fishing lures and Front's fine. I think we know who's dirtier. Look at my section and then look at old G-Dog section. Just trash city. That's how we do it around here, bud. Well, we forgot the maid tonight. She was supposed to come ride with us, but she took the night off, so I guess we're going to have a dirty boat. After we're all done, he's going to clean my boat with a toothbrush and a toothpick. Anyways, for anybody wondering, this boat is a a bass tracker 2000. no it's not a 2000 it's a 14 foot bass 14 something i don't know it's a 14 foot john boat got it from cabela it's about a thousand dollars got a trailer fix it up if you haven't seen that video uh check out my channel it's on there bass boat to john boat maiden and voyage today nickname is the ss below me ss below me b-e-l-o-w me and for anybody watching, um, please send money. He could use a new pair of pants. Look at them things. Look how dirty they are. So far I've caught all my fish on a Texas rig Senko. There's one. I'll make sure the old camera is on. Look at that old large donkey. Old ditch pickle. Whoop. Another one in the boat. Beautiful green back. Senkos obviously are working the best. That's like the third worm I've just completely blown out. Please be an unused one. Sweet. I'm moving a bit. I want to get just a touch closer. As that sun's going down, you can see just a little bit in the water. Garrett's currently fertilizing the lake. I really hope to goodness that that uh, thingy majiggy he's packing is not on this camera. Unbelievable.
too much beer. Pretty sure we got a bunch of swamp donkey weeds in this thing. Oh yeah. Definitely seen better. Could be worse. Do you think there's any fish under this thing? Like if I were to slap one like right into a barrel? I didn't realize there were barrels there. Yeah, this is a spot that I really thought had potential and I missed a bunch. I only caught one out of here. Thought I'd catch about 10. There's one. Just like I said. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. What do you think that thing weighs, like seven pounds? It's gotta be at least an eight pounder. Dude, this thing is like beaten up. Another one on the old John boat, bass boat. Oh, G-Dog's getting hit. It's getting hit. He just set the hook like Kevin Van Dam. Another green boy. Boom. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure this battery is KO'd. Like ka -chow. Which is shocking to me. It was fully charged. All right. Um, what in the? Thank you. Did you just see a carp jump 10 feet out of the water or was it just me? Well, Garrett's reeling us in by via stump because the battery is kachowed. Another lesson learned. One, if he breaks my rod, I'm going to be pissed because he's been the piss out of it. And two, I need to bring a second battery because one ain't cut. We weren't here that long. Or a bigger battery or a newer battery or something because the battery I've got is just a small marine one and it ain't working long enough. But, yeah. By the way, good day out here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed our little John boat, bass boat adventures starting out. First time ever out here on this boat. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on another episode. Peace, y'all. Beautiful sunset. Getting ready to take the boat out. What a night. And a dude running his weed whacker. Nothing makes for better audio.